Okay, here we go. We're recording now. And uh, yeah, we're working on a shirt. Haha. Uh -huh. Good job, future me. Past me. Whatever. Uh, just using a pattern to get a general shape of all the pattern pieces. Now you really don't have to understand entirely what you're doing for this. You really don't. And it's gonna kill me if I say it, so I'm gonna say it. Uh, Kizari does not understand this very well, and he did just fine on his uh, mod. Like, you really like, you know, you can you can overdo it and you can underdo it. And you kind of want to find a middle ground where you're making things that look nice, but you're not taking so long that, you know, you grow old by the time you're finished. Okay, almost done with the basics. Now again, there's a lot of like tricky, tricky patterns that getting them from an existing patterns uh, helps a lot, like sleeves. Like I've made a bunch of sleeves in, in MD, so I'm used to it. And because of that, uh, when I'm making something I don't entirely uh, need to uh, use a pattern and I haven't used patterns myself in a, in a while but it definitely helped me originally and then the second thing is that nobody is really gonna judge you for reusing your own files uh, so it is always a good idea to make something and then never make it again because you can just edit now what i'm doing here is unfold with symmetric editing which is one of the best features uh, of the newer versions of md i think since eight or some such Uh, because it lets me, well, do this essentially. So I only edit one half of the pattern, but it is guaranteed to be symmetric with the other side. I'm editing them a little bit just so that I don't have, uh, that they, that whenever the sides meet, it's on a, it's on a flat bit. Uh, okay, that's all the basic parts. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to put them a little bit closer. We do have to care about inside and outside, by the way. So, you do have to turn your patterns. Uh, some absolute heathens instead use the uh, swap normals. But that makes the pattern inverted, and that is sin. as far as I'm concerned, just rotate the damn thing. Uh, also, another thing is that in newer versions, this is not... Oh, right, because I didn't take into consideration the... This is a tab here. Right. Right, right, right. Um, I think... I'm not sure about 11, but I know 9 comes uh, in by default uh, with local pivots for, for a local gizmo for transformations and that is terrible and it'll make you hate yourself and I do not recommend it uh, 
Uh, I should probably do this tab. Uh, do I want to do it? Okay, let's do it like this. I don't entirely understand this pattern. I think they mean one line is sewn to the other and not, like, both are gathered. Perpendicular internal. Oh, fine, we can do it like that. Right, I don't, I literally do not use hotkeys in MD. For some reason, clicking is way, uh, way more user-friendly for me in this program specifically. Like, in Blender and such, hotkeys are everything, but not in MD for some reason. I keep, this is me clicking my, well, yeah, now you can change all of them, but, uh, you used to not be able to do that, I think. Now we're going to split this, and I want, it's about 17 millimeters. Sure, we're going to do 17 millimeters. Hmm. One thing I like about 11 is that uh, uh, is that it made it so that um, the points are actually bigger, and I think their size is even uh, uh, is even customizable. Not entirely sure of that one. So now we're going to segment saw. Right. So now, now comes the beautiful part of actually sewing things. Uh, these days, 3D sewing works. It used to not exactly work. Hmm, I didn't add a point here. So we're going to do this. And add point to intersection. There we go. So this goes to this. And this. Oh, that's almost accurate. It's a little bit of a difference, but we're not going to care about that. And here we can just do segment sewing, and because I have symmetric editing, it just does the other side, which is nice. Mm. Okay, sewing in... Oh, we were trying to do this. That's Honey, that's not that's not what we mean. Uh, did I just hide? Cool. So about uh, about hotkeys. This is what happens when I use hotkeys in this program. Actually, no. Maybe I want. Uh, right. I forgot. Uh, you can't exactly have two symmetric patterns, each of which has symmetric editing within. But that doesn't matter, matter ter terribly much, because the sleeve is already the right shape, and I don't need the symmetry anymore. So I shall remove linked editing, and then symmetric pattern with sewing. And it went the wrong way. Uh, 
Okay. You do always need to be mindful of your sewing directions because otherwise things will eat themselves. And then just shift click to get two seams. Uh, another thing is I never connect the sleeves on the first go because the sleeves are most definitely 100% going to eat themselves if I try connecting the bottom now. So I just let it simulate, which it does this. And now I can freely connect the two sides of the sleeves. So as you can see, this is a, shall we say, not terrible start is what I would call it. It's not hanging right. It's not exactly the, the right width. Uh, although it's mostly the right width, actually, because one good thing is that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't pull on his armpits. It's a little bit loose, but uh, it's overall not bad. We're going to keep the sleeves short for now. Yay! Yeah, we're not exactly aiming for a t-shirt right now, so I so I guess that's the issue here, but yeah, it, it fits him. Yeah, the that's exactly what I was saying about uh, how things don't really play out on game avatars the way you would expect them to and then the way they do on humans. No! I mean, this one is on square, 100%ly because they made this base. But I have yet to see a video game base that is entirely like a real human. They just don't do that because they need to be idealized in some way. 3D scan models, yes, but they usually get edited at least to uh, to some degree. And what they end up with is something like it's usually certainly something like uh, Comrades uses the 3D scanned uh, bodies uh, of Andrea Tivadar and whatever Nick's dude name is and they edited them and they are not what you would think a human would be although the next one is entirely on the on the guy because he actually looks like that and it should be illegal he has like no waist and all of the ass which is uh you know It's not, though, because those people are not Japanese. Uh, thank you so much for the stream, but um, I am needed elsewhere. Okay, all good. <laughs> thank you so I will much. Be, uh, I will be uploading whatever we end up creating today, so you can catch up. Yeah, thank you. Have a, have a good night, guys. Bye. Uh, yep, have a good night, too. Good night, too. Bye. Okay, so now we're gonna cut and sew. Now there's the whole matter of buttons in the middle, which we shall deal with. This is the, uh, the bit for the buttons. This is the... And again, a lot of the stuff you can pretty much cheat. This is, right, this is the stuff that goes on top. This is the pocket. And this is the thing we actually want right now, which is the collar. The collar is actually a thing that is pretty obnoxious to make yourself. Also, yes, definitely two whoopee cushions. 100%. Now, of course, they didn't mark the center very well, but they did mark it a little bit, so we're going to deal with it. Oh button uh, this is me aiming I think I think they mean that it's straight to this map point so I'm gonna actually make a point there 
One thing that's really good in MD is snapping. The snapping actually works very nicely and actually makes things uh, click together when they should be clicking together. And loop. Now, in before, this doesn't actually unfold properly because... Oh, no, it, this one is actually symmetric. Uh, a lot of the time, it won't be because uh, one side has to reach a little bit further than the other. And I think I want this a little... No, not the entire thing, just this thing. It keeps doing this. Please just select the point. Thank you. MD is great, but it can be stubborn. That's better. And now we want this other one. There we go. And unfold symmetric. Which, by the way, I f kind of figure that it's uh, obvious, but if it isn't, then if anyone has any sort of questions at any point regarding literally anything, uh, shoot. But also, if there are memes, I might shoot you back. So, be aware. Uh, okay. That's probably for lining. Yeah, the blue is for lining pieces that go inside and make the thing stiff. And we don't really care about that. Uh, what we do care about is sewing this on. Uh, now here's a question. Which side is up on this thing? Asterisk help. <laughs> Which side is up here? I think it's like this. This uh, The bottom end goes into the shirt, right? And before. Yeah, because uh, cause of this shape. You say as if I can read anything on here. Oh, come on. I don't think it's going to be much better. Although, oh, it might actually be printable. Hmm. Nope. Not so much. There you go. I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Because uh, I recognize the shape of this thing up here. Like this, and this goes here. Yeah. Okay. Dog says hi. Oh, did this not make a symmetric pattern? Are you kidding me? Oh, because I didn't symmetrize those. Okay, my bad. Maybe, maybe. I'm pretty sure that was a car or something. Uh, this goes... Haha! -ha! Yeah, they match. Look at me being correct. Now, these both need to be that the other way around. Uh, 
And I'm just gonna let it do its thing. The blue ones are the are the inserts for for stiff. Okay. Uh, so now we want to bend this. And it's going to be a tragic experience. As it usually is. Whoa, Jesus. Jesus, calm down. Calm down. It's fine. It's all fine. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Come on. There we go. And now just this fold. Oh my god, it's looking like a like a, like a fucking you know y your regular normal polo shirt, and I just that is a terrible look on Arden. I would never now strengthen and uh, let's just switch the thick. Uh, strengthen is a thing that like strengthen and freeze and solidify are all things that are like that mess with the simulation and i don't like doing that what i prefer to do is add a second fabric I'm gonna call it stiff and pick uh something like canvas Uh, which, speaking of, this should also be something else. What do I want to make it? This is the thing, you, you, uh, the... S second fabric, by definition, doesn't mess with the simulation, because that's literally what you're doing, like, that you're simulating fabric. Don't even care. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's a little bit. Pretty much, but that's kind of the. My whole issue is that uh, I prefer to have. Yeah, that actually sits like a shirt. I mean, okay, so what you what you actually care about when you're making a thing in MD for a game is that it looks right. That's all you care about. And, you know, whatever, not making it cancer for yourself when working with it later. Uh, but basically my point right now is that it doesn't need to be legit. It can be as cheated as you, as you want, and it's fine, and it really doesn't matter. But I personally prefer to have my simulations as close to real as possible uh, because I find I like the look. Originally, that was a thing that I struggled with because it's pretty hard in MD to do like multiple layers and stuff. And now I just deliberately put additional layers of clothing underneath things, even though they don't have to be there, just so that I get the, the right look. Like the other day I was working on uh, on a dress and I both had the underskirts on, and I also specifically made uh, an undershirt to go under that so that I could get the right fit and the right behavior from the fabric. Like, it's definitely a personal preference thing. I like to make things real-ish, you know, digital real. It's never going to be 100%, but I like the way it, in in my opinion, it pays off in the end. Also, I feel like this should be a little bit stiffer. Should this be a little bit stiffer? Maybe. But also, maybe I want it even stiffer. 
there should be a Where is the thing that I was looking? Mm, this one? I was thinking something else, I think. Uh, also, if, I, if you ever need to, like, cheat things, leather. Full grain leather. It used to be the stiffest uh, preset that came with MD. Now it's uh, now you have uh, trim leather as well, which is even more badass. But yeah, the point is, cheating is good, or something. Okay. Right, I think the way this one is sewn, yeah, is that the buttons are actually in, are on one of the sides, rather than extending. Because uh, you either have the two halves uh, kind of being separate, and then this, and then the middle uh, part for the buttons. And sometimes it's like this, where it's where the buttons just go on one side. What's interesting here is that I don't think this color really works for uh, for buttoning it up because it is symmetrical. Both of these pieces are, are symmetrical, and that means I don't have an extra little flap to cover one side, which is a choice. Okay. Now, uh, as mentioned, I don't actually end up uh, using patterns all that much. So I think we can consider this a demo and I can be allowed to make pants uh, the fast way. Just because I know how pants are supposed to look. Then again, but, but again, the first time I made jeans... That was 100% tracing. And then I reused this pattern uh, multiple times until I got to the point where I was so familiar with what I needed to tweak to fit a certain uh, model and get a certain fit on the, on the pants themselves that it gave me the ability to actually make things uh, myself from scratch. Another thing we run into here is that this crotch is monstrous. Anatomically speaking, male uh, pelvises are long, are deeper, but but narrower. But this is a lot. <laughs> you are free to quote that. Yes, one hundred percent free to free to quote that. So we're going to go for kind of like putting the hip here. And then yeah, like step one is making a thing that kind of resembles a pattern, maybe a little. Actually, one that point higher. Excuse you, MD. It likes to be like that. Please snap. There we go. We're just gonna roll with whatever he has here. I think I think for like realistically speaking, for having pants on, he is he is packing exactly as much as he needs to. And make this a little wider. And again, like I know I've I've done pans on 15 models before, so I know what's coming to a degree. And I know the width of the pants is gonna be an issue. You can't really make 
straight pants on these guys because they end up really weirdly fitted. So I have this, and then we have obviously the other side. And then we shall copy this and the first and main difference is that on the back this is way deeper. And that's kind of what we're going to start with and make this one a symmetric pattern as well. Now, it used to be much more important uh, that you place your patterns as close to where they should go as possible and as close to the avatar as possible and everything and stuff. But uh, thankfully, uh, MD has become much more reasonable in how it handles things. I am still going to try and save myself a little bit of headache by rotating these so they actually go around the legs. And there's also something nicer about adding new pieces when you already have a bunch of other pieces because then the simulation is a little bit slower and that actually makes it a little bit more stable. And meanwhile, until that moment, things ha tend to have a lot of spring to them and just kind of jump all around the place. Uh, no, there is literally no reason to just start doing it already, but we're going to go ahead and, and put it on layers anyway. So when layers are set to zero, they don't do anything. Once you start putting things on layers, they start doing things. Uh, you don't really ever want. I'll put you on three. Uh, you don't ever want a situation where you have some models with layers and some set to zero because then it goes completely mad. So now this shouldn't be terrible. Yeah, it's wrapping slower, which is very nice. And boop. There it is. And, well then, that's actually surprisingly nice. Definitely too tight. Uh, let's turn this off. Uh, deactivate and hide so we can work on the pants. This is actually very nice. A good way is to set the fabric to... That's the main part. You want the crotch to be at the crotch. Yeah, he's 100% a noodle. He is such a noodle, but as you can see, we're not getting any, like, glitching or bullshit. And the crotch is sitting at the crotch, because it likes to sit way lower on these models. So, this is actually good. I'm digging this. As far as length, I also kind of want to keep it. It's, uh, it's a little bit... Uh, under where the belly button would be and the belly button would be like here so quite a quite a bit more of a hips situation and i like it but yeah you can see i'm getting a little bit of a of nastiness from the from from the actual poly on the model you can see what it what it's doing underneath Fair, fair. There is no too tight. Uh, but also there is, and yeah, this is a tension map, and I don't like when things are red. Uh, generally speaking, having a little bit of tension is often fine and even desired. I don't like it. That's my that's my issue. I tend to make things too well tailored 
Uh, I like to make things perfectly fitted to the shape of the body without actually squeezing it. And that's not really realistic. Most people's clothes are not perfectly fitted to them, especially ever since we stopped uh, custom tailoring everything to every person. Uh, so you actually want things to be a little bit, you know, loose here, tight there. It really helps sell the whole thing. Now that said, that's a little bit too tight. So I'm going to make this a little bit looser here. And I already know I'm probably going to have to make... Of course it didn't. Yeah, when you add little bits of fabric like, like this, they always start eating themselves. I always say that the, the MD mood is stop eating yourself, stop eating yourself. Yeah, this is sitting a little bit nicer. It's still quite tight in here. But it's far from terrible. And normally on pants you have, at least to a degree, a straight line here. Uh, but that doesn't really work on Final Fantasy Men. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch this point. That's another very simple but very convenient feature. Like, it's... You don't normally think about it being there, but it is extremely helpful. You can actually click on a 3D view and have it show up on a 2D view. So I'm going to split this around here. 195.5, uh, so I'm going to make it uh, an even 200. And because this shape is the same on the back and the front, I can do the exact same thing here, and I am I have the same shape. So now we're going to give it a little bit more room here. There we go. It's already sitting a little bit nicer. Uh, we actually are a little bit low on crotch space. So, we'll, we'll add a little bit more fabric here. And a little bit more fabric here. Also, one thing I've noticed in MD11 is that it is way more into the idea of doing the whole synchronizing in a progress bar thing. Uh, I don't get it as much with 9. It's just kind of doing its thing for the most part. Um, okay, this is tight, but I don't think it looks wrong, barring the fact that it looks uh, mangled because the topology from underneath is peeking out. So I think I want to keep it that way. These look like kind of old-fashioned, simple, straight jeans. And I kind of want to go for old-fashioned, simple, straight jeans on him. For that uh, slightly aging pro uh, professor uh, look. I think that's going to be nice. Which also means we can add some denim. And we do have denim presets, which are actually pretty good. And we're going to use raw denim. Because I don't want it too stretchy. Boop. And it is always good to color code your stuff so that you know what which is which. Oh, that's a terrible color. Oh god, no. 
Uh, we'll go from this. That's better. Right. So here's the thing. A lot of the time, like the good, the the best process for making something in MD is to go from very general to more precise and a lot of stuff is way easier when you have symmetry but then a lot of the time you need to get rid of the symmetry say you need a fly on the pants and the fly doesn't go on both sides it, go, it goes on one side uh, but because that requires taking off my symmetry I am gonna wait with the fly until everything else is finalized and I'm really really sure that I'm that I don't want to change these uh, anymore pockets and stuff on top you can add but again it's it's always kind of about being mindful of what you might want to tweak later so what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset these as internal lines and I always do this just like just eyeball it uh, let's make it 30 so this is gonna be the belt Not so much the belt as the waistline, actually. Uh, cut and sew here. There's that. And then on this, what I want to do is offset is an internal line that's like, oh, we're going to say five millimeters. And I'm going to cut and sew it again. Uh, you can you can turn symmetry back on if the the patterns are still perfectly identical, which if you started editing anything is likely not the case anymore. So turning symmetry back on is not usually like a realistic option for you. So now I'm gonna make these into little triangles because that is how jeans do. Boop. and that will sort out the the back waistline situation that's actually too much there we go that's better and to be honest I think we could do with a little tighter waistline if you look at this, waistline is pretty loose, and you can even see it sticking out just a little bit in the back here. Which again is kind of a thing jeans do, so no reason to panic. And there we go. So now we have less of a sticking out situation. And again, if you wanted to make these perfectly well fitted and tailored and everything, uh, I would keep messing with this butt area. But, but, huh? Uh, that's entirely not the point. The point is to make this look like real pants, and real pants are not perfectly fitted. But yeah. We're getting some nice wrinkles here. Uh, the crotch wrinkles that's are a thing that I see a lot of people get really hung up on. Uh, in in the sense that there must be these uh, these uh, diagonal wrinkles going here. And what they try to do is add more fabric, which in reality more fabric just goes down because gravity. Uh, so what you want to do if, when you want wrinkles is make things tighter. Here, here we have a pretty tight situation. You can see there's, you can barely see, but there's a little bit of those horizontal wrinkles forming. Uh, I don't like to put too many of them in because, in my opinion, it kind of looks stupid, but uh, to each their own. That again is a thing that uh, kind of my beef with uh, game models and uh 
and game design in general, visual design specifically, is that people put way too much emphasis on putting detail all over everything. And sometimes you see uh, images online of people's uh, 3D work and it's all wrinkles. It's top to bottom, the entire thing is so wrinkly that it just, it just would not fly IRL. It would not happen. And the thing with that is I, not only I much prefer realism, but also it's a thing that's obvious to anyone who's ever looked at uh, more uh, shall we say well just like generally uh, more classic forms of art not like not not entirely like uh, actual proper art with a capital A but just uh, visual art of a 2D variety uh, where you don't put the same amount of detail all over the everything because then it's it's just muddy it's just confusing and it doesn't draw uh, attention in any coherent way and what you need to do is cluster your details put them in places where you want attention and that's kind of the look that I like for 3D assets as well and uh, we get a little bit of detail where it needs to be and not wrinkles all over the place. Right now, I want to add some pockets. And again, it's up to you how much detail you put into stuff and how realistic you want to go. Uh, actually, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. This is about here. And this is about here. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, okay. It, it 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 does have a lot of detail all over, but it it is still making, in my opinion, very efficient use of uh, value and such. I mean, there's just, I, I don't want to go into the entire art discussion, but there's, there's a million folds, there's a million details all over the place, but you still have other things that direct the attention. And in a 3D model, the thing is that you don't really get that. You get uh, more of a situation where uh, the model is going to be seen in whatever lighting and whatever conditions happen in the game and because of that you can't you can't really direct it uh, so precisely do I want this a little bit deeper no but I do want a little bit more angled there we go that's better <laughs> so now, if I wanted to be super re realistic about this, uh, then of course the pocket flap would be under there and there wouldn't actually be a pocket there. Uh, that part is kind of pointless to do because we have Blender. And we're going to be able to... That's true. That's true. Overdoing it and... You know, people have had different ideas. I don't know. I'm. That's a, an excellent question. I will not add keys because Arden keeps his keys in the armature. Duh. He is a demon man, and their argument is invalid or something. Now, do we want to make belt loops and a belt, is the question. Yes, I just made pants for Demon Man. That does sound like something I should put in my resume. Ah, oh, good one. 
Okay, are we making belt loops and a belt? Because I am thinking we're going to have something covering it, but... Because if I just turn on the shirt, uh, then clearly we're not going to have belt, belt visible. Okay, we're doing belt. Fine. So, we're going to start with rectangles. So I'm going to make... just sort of something by which I mean I don't terribly care what it looks like at this point I just need a rectangle that fills it uh, nah, I don't know I keep saying that I'm gonna make a shirtless Arden uh, from his default outfit actually and it just, it annoys me a lot, so I keep thinking that maybe I should. But then I keep not doing it. It's probably decent spacing. And we also want one here. What am I doing? And here. Here. Cool. Well, it's going to be our belt loops. Uh, I don't keep mods private. I currently have one private mod, and that's just because I never... Because I kind of made it just before Flag Room, and uh, yeah, that's literally the only reason... I need to update it to Flagrum materials and then publish. And other than that, I don't keep private mods. I just never finish stuff. That's that's the only thing. Uh, anyway, clone as pattern. Now, that is not going to be very thick, but we can make it lengthier. And that's going to be pretty good. Uh, sh Shoot. I didn't do it right. Oh, actually, no, I can... Come on. Come on, just play nice. No, it doesn't want to play nice. Fine. Yeah, too lazy to finish is a thing. That I do. A lot. I actually want also these. Uh, so we're gonna add points to intersection. Okay, now it, it's, now it shall work, and the same here. This, this, and this, and this. Oh! Oh, I'm looking at the wrong pattern, haha, I'm silly. I hate the fact that it often makes you move things when you really did not move your mouse. And add point to intersection. And that should have also worked. Yes, it did. So... The clever way to do this, clever, quote unquote, like it's not, it's not rocket science, science or anything, but the smart person way of doing this is to do one side and then add your um, symmetrical stuff, because otherwise you will have to prepare all of them separately and, you know, put them in place. And this way I just get to do it once. Which is four instead of eight, which actually does add up and gets really annoying. Come on. 
There we go. That ended up somewhere in space. Okay, sometimes I still forget that my mouse uh, goes infinitely. Well, not infinitely, but almost infinitely when I scroll it. I could, of course, change the setting, but uh, that would require doing things. There you go, that's good enough. And that is also good enough. So now what I can do is actually clone with symmetric editing. And now it's not in the right place, but I only need to move it on the one axis. Is it out or is it still in? It's good. And this one even ended up almost where it needs to be. Now, of course, the thing with belt loops and belts and stuff is that layers are your friend. So, pants are layer, layer one, belt's gonna be two, so this is three. And boop. I'm confused. I must have sewn it to the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's on the internal line. That's probably why it's being grumpy. Let's make sure it's on the pattern. There we go, that's better. Yes. There we go. Nice. So now I can make a belt. Uh, let's make rectangles. And the line length is 189. So, 189 by uh, two, uh, 27. And then on this side, we got Let's 
this crack thing. 185. Five by twenty seven. And of course, for those, we need an actual leather fabric. So we're going to call it leather and we're going to give it a silly color. And we're actually going to make it uh, trim full grain leather. There we go. Now, well, because I have layers on, I'm not terribly worried about things going places, shall we say. And uh, sometimes I prefer to put it in a little bit over uh, having it uh, be outside and just fall out. Because of course the issue here is that we don't actually have any sort of connection between the belt and the hands. So if it doesn't want to stay, it's not going to stay. Come on, mouse. I mean, you can do it. Do you need to? No. Again, I guess it, it comes down to how familiar you are with stuff. If, like, you you are always welcome to cheat if it helps you in any way. Cheat, quote unquote, quote unquote, of course. Um, I like to live on the edge. Oh, I still have to move this one into place. And of course the cloned ones didn't get their layers. Oh no, nothing got their layers because they haven't set them yet. Anyway, we're on layer two for these. So we have pants on one, belt two. Loops on three. And there we go. Almost. Now the thing is that this is not going to want to stay. For one simple reason. And that is. Our particle distance is too damn uh, high. So I'm going to select the loops and the belt itself, and I'm going to put them on a 5. Mm, actually, actually, let's do this whole thing again with the lower, with the lower particle distance. I made a mistake. I need to reset 3D range. No. No? Okay, fine, we'll just do it like this. So now it's really down to just squeezing it in. There you go. Now, the more you put it in where it should be, the less likely it's going to be to keep escaping you and again this is the thing that it helps when you already have a bunch of I think I know what I may have done wrong and that is we need a little bit more just a touch bigger 
but slightly larger than the because when it's too tight it has a bigger desire to run away upwards come on honey This one caught on. It is jiggling. If it's jiggling, that means it's having issues. Again, you can pin this. You can do a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I will. I will most definitely post a recording. Uh, probably YouTube. Oh, it doesn't want to play nice today. I literally just made a belt like this the other day. Alas, apparently, we're gonna take it off. Calm down, belt. Now it's going to calm down. Now we're going to... Put it back into place. I have a feeling it might still be too tight. But perhaps I am wrong. That's better. The back is still being rude. It might still be too tight. Let's try a little bit more. You kind of want it sitting loose in the belt, which is counterintuitive, but... Another issue is that MD likes to break this kind of stuff. Like, you, you said it. Okay. Have a good night, Elisa. And thanks for hanging out. We're probably going to wrap it up. Because it is getting a little bit late. And also, I don't want to get the entire thing done with most people off the stream. So yeah. Mm, yeah, it's like too tight in places. Come on, honey. Yeah, it's likely not playing ball because the simulation is still too fast. Which is a stupid thing, but it does do that. Yeah, I think that's the issue. We should revisit the belt after we've added some more stuff. And for now, we'll just let it do whatever it wants. Kind of? I mean, it's always better to, to go faster, but yeah. It's, uh, it can be mean in certain situations. I'm going to put the shirt back on. My god, is this an interesting look? Oh, right. And now I have to increment all of these. There's some layer two. I should be on four. Except for this, I'm gonna be on five. There we go. Please don't eat yourself. Thank you. Right, we're probably not keeping the short sleeved shirt. I kinda don't like the look. We are, however, probably putting like a, I don't know, maybe a space sweater. 
on him. Maybe we'll make the shirt more ruffled. I wouldn't mind a ruffled shirt. So yeah, the, pe the belt is probably gonna keep escaping into oblivion until we have a couple more things in here. Yeah, exactly. Like a silly, silly, dumb polo shirt. Like, ugh. It, it, yeah. I don't dig the look. But making a nice proper shirt is always the best way to start making uh, an improper shirt. I don't like the... Like, I follow the pattern, and I don't like the way the seam on the sleeves looks. It's not exactly the right length. It's bunching weird. Yeah, let me see. Oh yeah, because that's a difference of 17.2 millimeters. And, oh, and 43 millimeters here. Wow. Yeah, these sleeves are not the right size. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're completely the wrong size. 271. 228. Ha! Good one. Yeah, we need to make this, like, actually an entire bit smaller. And that should actually make it work. Let's see how we're doing now. 255. 228. 255 as well. Two. 295. Oh, this might work actually just uh, if I just edit the sewing. Because I think now one is the amount, like if I just move uh, so it's not in the center. So we're going from the armpit. Oh yeah, that goes up up there. And then from this to this. And then this should be about the right length. Yeah, it's about the right length. And then it's just sort of... Oh, okay, this wants to be longer. And this is going to be... Oh god, which one is which? This one. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes the colors really look the same. Yeah, so this is going to be within 5 millimeters on each side. And that should work much better. Excuse you? Uh, did I... What did I do? This, this, this. It looks okay, I think. Unless, unless I put it on the wrong arm. I didn't. What is it doing? What you doing there? Why are you like this? Where is the issue? Hmm. Other side? I have no idea why it's doing this. Come on, honey. Don't do me like this. Machine oh machines. yeah, I this one is for some reason the completely wrong length, which makes no sense because the other sleeve is fine, and this one just kind of edited itself in the wrong way. 
in the opposite direction of where it should be. Come on, guys, you're you're symmetrical. You should not be doing this. I hope this didn't break the other one. No, it still looks fine. Symmetry, am I right? There we go. That's better. Oh, it just... we're relaxing now. Yay! Yay! Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop here. We're going to take a terrifying picture of a bold Arden looking like he's uh, off to play golf with his, with his friends. Which will hopefully terrify everyone who sees it. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue next week and we're going to finish this uh, MD ver section of the outfit. So yeah, thanks for hanging out and stuff. Whee!